This is the human brain. It only weighs about three pounds when fully formed, but it's the most important organ in your body. It allows us to think, move, feel, hear, taste, and smell. It enables us to take in and analyze information and store it for later use. Most importantly, it helps us to learn, to process information, to excel in school or at work or in almost any endeavor. Having and using this organ to its maximum capacity goes without saying. It also goes without saying that if our brain is damaged, disabled, or made less efficient, it will have a large impact on how smart we are, how successful we are, and ultimately how happy we are. This program is about what happens when the brain gets damaged by drugs like alcohol, marijuana, inhalants, and other substances. Substances that we have a choice to use or not to use. Because when we use drugs like these, particularly at a young age, we are, in fact, literally getting, getting stupid. Um, now the brain um, is stored. This is Dr. Susan Taper from the University of California in San Diego. She studies how different drugs affect the teenage brain. She's showing these local students. Okay. This is the color of a brain. You guessed it, an actual what human color brain. Do you call that? Brownish, tannish, yeah, beigeish. Kind of tannish gray. And there are 150 billion neurons in that brain in each one of your brains. What was that again? 150 billion neurons in that brain. Okay, okay, let's back it up. First of all, what are the different parts of the brain? And just exactly what do they do? Now, that's a good question. The brain is a complex thinking machine made up of several important areas. The brain stem controls many of the basic functions that most of us never think about. The cerebellum helps us maintain things like posture and balance. The structures in the limbic system are important because this is where we process survival feelings like fear and anger and pleasurable ones like taste and touch. Two of the largest structures are called the amygdala and the hippocampus. Our brain uses these areas to help remember. The diencephalon helps us control our movement. It contains the hypothalamus. This little area regulates important functions in the body like temperature, hormones, and a lot of other important glands. The cerebral cortex is divided into the left and right hemispheres and comprises about two-thirds of the brain. This is the part of the brain that really separates us from other animals. This is where we think, produce language, hear stuff, see stuff, know that something's funny or stupid. Right.